Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. Thanks for coming back today. Now today we're going to be working on starting a new junk journal. I have a name for it. These are the papers I'm going to use. They're very colorful, cheerful, so I'm going to call this the Happy Journal. Couldn't come up with a better name, <laughs> but that's okay. I like that name. Now what I'm using today, instead of making a soft cover, we're going to be making a harder cover. Not hard hard, but a little stiffer than we've been making. We've been using uh, mailing, packing, what do they call those? Padded envelopes. We've also used paper bags. Today we're going to be using the cardboard from food packaging. Now this this was a box. It was all together like this. And this piece was on the, the side. Now I cut off the front, one of the sides, and the back. Now I've seen people leave it all together without cutting it just as it comes, you know, folded. But in my days of making mini albums, I know that if you don't leave a space between the spine and the covers, you're not going to be able to close your book. And the reason being, if it's right up against this piece, it has nowhere to go. It hits up against that other piece of cardboard here. See how? You need that space so that when you're folding up and down, it has somewhere to go. It doesn't hit up against it. So I'll show you as I make it. But that's what we're gonna use. So this is regular. You could use small cereal boxes or uh, cracker boxes, cookie boxes, any type of food packaging. <clears throat> now this happens to be, after I cut it apart, it's five and three quarters by eight and three quarters, which is just per perfect because this is one of our pages. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. It's just folded in half, which is perfect. There's no cutting involved. You have to cut all your pages and it works out well. It fits right inside of the cover. You see, we have a little room at the top a little room at the bottom, with the bottom, there it is, and a little bit at the side. So that's just perfect for making any type of book. The pages will be inside of our cover. So this is one, this will be, say, the front cover. This would be the back cover, same size. This is five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. The spine is one and three quarter inches wide by eight and three quarters. So all I did was cut these pieces out of the box. I cut off the front, I cut off one side, and I cut off the back. I got rid of the tops and the bottoms and the one other side. Just using these pieces. Okay, we don't need our page. I'm thinking of making the cover. I'm gonna cut this out. First, I'm going to wrap this whole thing in this color. That way I will have an edge around it with that nice blue, teal blue. But in order to do that, I have two 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock, which are not big enough. Because we have to fit both of these, all three pieces on here. So we need two pieces of cardstock. This is our center, front cover, back cover. Now, this wouldn't fit on one piece because we need at least, say, three quarters to an inch around the outside to fold over. We're going to make a wrapped cover, which works out well on this type of a harder book. So we need the two sheets, which we're going to glue together first. 
I have my glue. I think I have everything I need today. Except I don't see my ruler. Oh yes, here it is. My ruler, my bone holder, my trimmer. Okay, so we're gonna take one of these pieces. I like doing this on my mat because I can see my quarter inch. Well, on one edge anyway. <clears throat> and we're just gonna put glue along this whole edge, a quarter of an inch in. Not too much, but not too little. We want it to stay together. Now let's see if we can get the glue to cooperate. Here we go. Coming out very slowly. Okay, that's about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna fill this in with glue all the way. At this slow rate, it may take a while. I hope it speeds up a little. Quarter of an inch all the way down. Nothing exact. If there's too much glue, we'll wipe it up. I'm looking at my screen. I'm hoping you can see. I don't see any movement on my my screen now. I do hope the camera's working. And well, now I see it. I'll find out when we're finished. Um, one other thing I wanted to tell you. I'm going to start making my videos a little bit shorter. Some of them come out to be like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Which are a little too long. And it takes me forever to edit and upload to YouTube. So I'm going to try breaking it up into more parts. But today we'll just do the cover. We'll see if we can get the whole cover done. We may not get the outer pieces on, but we'll see how far we get. And that way it won't take me as long to do what I have to do when the video is finished to get them up. Make the thumbnail, edit, upload it to YouTube, which is what takes the longest. So I think if they're shorter it will go quicker. Plus, you won't be sitting there for 45 minutes watching me. <clears throat> be smaller pieces. We'll still get everything done. There may be a few extra videos to the series, but... Okay, we're going to put this on top of our quarter of an inch of glue. Evenly, if we can. That looks pretty even. And press it down well. I'm going to get something to wipe up any extra glue I might have. Press that down. Give it a few seconds to dry. Now we've done this before on other projects. I do like this paper. This, see this? The opposite side of this is like a, a shimmer. I would like to use on another book, but not this one. On this one, I'm going to be using a deeper color. But it is a shimmery paper. I believe it's Recollections. Okay, we have our two pieces glued together. I think that's dry enough to hold it. Now what we're going to do, I don't have my big mat, I only have my small one today. Let me make sure I'm on camera here. Up higher. There we go. Okay, that's the center seam. Now you're going to start in the middle because you don't want that seam on your cover. We want the seam to be on the spine, which is going to get covered from the outside. So you won't see it. Now I'm going to make this. I'm going to take a ruler first. I'm going to make one line. Not the whole length, but part of it. And then try and make it at about an inch from the edge. This will give me something to line my pieces up with. That's 
about an inch there. <coughs> okay, so this is gonna be our spine. We're gonna line it up. Then the seam is in the middle, the seam of our paper. We're gonna line it up with that top line. I'm gonna put glue on this. I think I'm gonna use my other glue bottle. That nozzle is a little too slow. That's very good for fine pieces. Not when you're doing a large area. Okay. As you can see, this was a dinner box, frozen dinner box. Okay, I'm gonna put glue all over this, covering it completely. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I have a timer on so I can see. I set it for 20 minutes. We'll see what we can get done in 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, we have it covered in glue. Got the edge as well. Now we're going to put this down on, on the seam. The seam will be right in the middle or close to it. We'll line it up with our line and then press it down. We have our paper towel here to wipe up our glue. Anything that seeps out. We're pressing it down onto the paper. Now this is just like making a cover to a mini album. Which I've also done videos on making a full mini album. And start to finish. Any size you want. That's on my channel. Called the little things. I'll show you how to design it, size it, make the spine, all the fins for your pages, then how to set up your pages with pockets and waterfalls, and all sorts of side pockets. So you can check that out if you want. It's a mini album. I believe it has five pages. Now, mini album pages are a lot thicker than a journal page. They have many flaps and pockets and extra uh, flip ups. So you only have about five pages in a book. Whereas a journal, you have signatures which are sewn into your book. A mini album, you don't sew them in, you glue them in. Okay, we're going to put glue on this side also, on this piece, all around the edges. I'm being pretty generous with the glue, because I do want it to harden a little bit. edges first. And I'm going to fill in the center. Just rubbing back and forth with the glue. And in this journal we're going to be putting, we're going to try making an envelope folio, which is with, you make it with several envelopes. I'm also going to put in one of those four pocket pockets and the regular basic pockets and side tucks. Okay, now, the important thing here is to leave a little bit more than an eighth of an inch between the spine piece and your cover. So you see the spacing in between there? That's what allows your book to open and close and it doesn't crash into the next piece. Let's leave that space. That's a little bit, a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. Put that down. Press it down. Okay. 
making sure everything is sticking. I'm gonna use my bone folder to spread out the glue. I wanna make sure everything is covered. This mat is not too good for this. over quickly and give it a press from this side just to make sure. See my timer has not, I can't see it anymore, my screen went blank. Hold on one sec. last piece on this side. This is very big. I can't quite get it in the camera. I see something shifted here. Okay, we'll continue. Now at this piece, we're going to do the same thing. Put the glue on all along the edges. At the corners. And then you fill it in. Well, not completely, but most of it. You want good coverage on here. Okay, now we're going to take this piece. And again, we're going to leave that space in between the spine and this piece. We need at least an eighth of an inch, a little bit more. I'm trying to line up on my line that I drew up here to keep it straight. And I'm going to press it down. be a little bit less three quarters just one side the other side and then the top so we have about an inch all the way around start folding it over. We want to crease it. We want it to be right up to our cardboard. Just start working it upward. Before we glue it. Right along the edge. All the way to the end. Take your bone folder and give it a good crease. This is going to be your outer edge of your book. Okay. Now we'll 
do the other side. Hold it a little bit. Bring it up. Press it down as tight as it can. Oops. Didn't rip when my seam came apart. I'm gonna put a little glue in there. <coughs> Let's see if this bubble works. glue this back down. You don't want anything coming apart. Now we'll bring it back up. Press it. Okay, we'll take a bone holder and crease it down well. All the way to the end. Crease down that piece I just repaired. Before we go any further, we want to trim the corners so we don't have so much bulk on my folding over. You want to trim each corner on an angle like that, leaving about an eighth of an inch between the corner of the book cover and the paper. So we have that little eighth of an inch space there on all the corners. That just, if you didn't cut that off, you would have a big mess up of cardstock you're trying to fold. We just cut it off. Okay, now we're going to start, well, we're going to fold these in first. Press them over as we did on the long sides. all the way and on the other side good crease all the way to that corner as flat as you can, that little piece that's hanging over the edge. Okay. Now next we're going to glue these down. We'll open them out. I'm going to start with this one. My larger glue bottle, larger nozzle. And we're just going to put glue all along this whole edge, all the way to the corners. All along the whole thing, we're putting glue. Up on my camera. Okay, we're filling this in. Now we're going to press it up following the crease that we made before. Taking up on the folder. Giving it a good press. Don't worry if the glue squeeze out. You can always wipe it up. You take your paper towel. Wipe up the glue. That's not a problem. Other side. All the way to the end. And then your glue is going to squeeze out. Okay. Pressing up so you get everything stuck down. You don't want these edges coming loose. You want them to glue down. Okay, I'm wiping up the glue. 
here before it starts to dry. I'll do this handy. Making sure everything's down good. Make sure this it's good. Okay, we're gonna go around to this side. Same thing, gonna put glue along the whole edge. Right up to the cardboard and to the edge of the paper. Filling it in all the way across. You really can't use a very small nozzle for this. It's too large of an area. Okay. Now I'm going to bring it up, press it down, start pressing along the crease that you made. Take your bone holder, press it down. comes to glue, but that's good because we want those corners down very tightly. Just wipe up the excess. Wipe off your bone folder. Okay, we're going to continue across. Pressing it all down. get a little tiny creases across here but if you press them with the bone folder towards the center they come out. Okay, a little bit of glue. That looks good. Staying down. All my edges are down. Let's give this one a press. And the glue is still drying. in those little corners that we made. Okay, some glue. Same as before, all along the edge of the cardboard, out to the edge of the paper. comes out. We're wiping it up. Trying to flatten out your corners. Wipe up your glue. As long as you wipe it up before it totally dries, you're okay. It's one side. Now we're going to do the other. glue all the way to the edge of the cardboard, to the outer edge of the paper, I think I'm going over my time here, I wanted to make it short, I'm just a little slower than others I guess take too much time doing things. But I like to explain as I go along so you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Why I'm cutting off the corners or leaving out space in the spine. So, 
I just need a little bit longer. All right, wipe up your extra glue. Make sure everything's stuck down here now. Wipe it up to your mat. You don't put your cover in it. Whenever you see a loose area, just press it down. The glue hasn't quite dried totally yet. I'm just going all the way around making sure my edges are down. Okay. And that's what's called a wrapped cover. Now I'm going to let this dry before we try folding it because your paper will crack. So this is where I'm going to cut it off. The video, I mean, not the book. The video. So we'll have it wrapped like that. So in our next video, we're going to cover the outsides. Cover the spine. No, we're not going to cover the spine on this yet because we're going to sew in our signatures. We want our spine cover to cover the sewing up. So we'll leave that off. We're going to cover the insides. I think I'm going to cut down this paper. I think it will work on here. Yes, it will. If I cut off this blue edge, it will fit on this cover. So then I have to print another one of these and print my spine, but I don't need the spine piece yet until we're done. So I'll print both covers. And then I'll figure out what we want to cover the inside with. I have a lot of these bright papers. I could use one of these. And I have a lot of others. And more of these. These will fit because our spine cover is going to come out a little bit. You'll leave a little bit of a wing underneath that you glue on top of. We'll, we'll do that in the next video. Okay, so this is the beginning of our happy journal. And the happy colors, bright colors, flowers and lace, things that we like, things that make us happy. Maybe some kites. Uh, what else? Birds. I'll find things. Okay. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me get more views on YouTube, and that helps my channel to grow. If you subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and be sure to hit the bell. Because if you don't get the bell, you won't get the notification when the next video is up. So thank you for coming by today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to make them a little shorter. Okay, so I'll be back soon. See you then. Bye.